We're talking today to Rochelle Decker, whose new book, Nine, is coming out in September. Rochelle, thank you very much for taking the time to chat today. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Um, I know a brief synopsis of the story. We have a, a young lady who works um, at a cafe, and then a, a stranger walks in who seems to have uh, no memory. So a character who's running from her past and mm -hmm. you know doesn't really want to deal with it and then suddenly she encounters someone who um, can't remember really her past. Uh, tell us a little bit more about this storyline and how it came to you. Yeah so this is kind of my first uh, chase suspense novel um, exactly about what you said a girl who is trying to stay kind of hidden off the radar um, running for her from her past she doesn't have to deal with the hard thing she's encountered and then runs into a young teen girl who seemingly has no memory other than her name um, and the two quickly discover that she's being pursued um, by the government chased by the FBI um, and having her own issues our lead character with um, government and authority sees this young girl, this teenage girl in dire need, even though she isn't quite sure why, helps her kind of go on the run. Um, and so you have this kind of pursuit chase that happens with these two young girls who are very different, um, running from this you know, opposing threat that seems pretty much insurmountable. And all the things they discover about themselves through that experience and the healing that they, they both um, get to go on the journey of really discovering who am I? Do I have to be what the world says? Can I change my story at any time? Can I change my mind about things I originally thought I was certain about? Those are kind of the questions around identity that both of these girls get to ask themselves caught up in this whirlwind experience that they're having. Uh, I know you spent many years on the run away from the FBI yourself. Yes. <laughs> But uh, uh, where does a story like this come from? Was there an incident that you heard about, read about? You just wanted to have a, a good chase story? Yeah, I kind of wanted to do something do, uh, different. Those of who have read my past stuff know this is nothing like that. I don't think I've ever written two things that are the same. Um, I mean, I wrote a trilogy and so it stayed in the same loop, but I um, am always looking for new and different ways to test my own storytelling abilities. And I just wanted to do something really fun and really different than I had done before. Um, you know, Baker is really known for great Christian suspense. So I wanted to, to deliver something that they would love um, and, and test myself. And I think I, I watch a lot of, you know, TV and movies anyways. And so I had like Born Identity meets a little bit of Stranger Things meets a little bit because there's lots of mystery around like who this girl is and where she comes from and like, you know, negative government agents and all of those ideas. So I kind of pulled from a lot of different stores, sources and just was like, okay, how do I deliver a story that keeps you hooked from the very beginning with characters that I think are really strong and interesting as well as powerful women struggling with the idea of identity. I think a lot of the times we view powerful women as women who already know who they are, but I think you can still be powerful in the search for discovering yourself. So I kind of tried to tap into that some, and I just had a blast writing this novel. So I hope people like it as much as I do. <laughs> do you remember going through some of these things as a younger person, that search for identity, the search for who you are? Not yeah. the same circumstances, obviously, you didn't lose your memory and you weren't running, but do you tap into those things? Absolutely. I always say that every character you'll find in my book, even the villains are part of me, are, are in small part inspired by me. I mean, you write what you know, right? So I would like to think I know myself the best, even though I'm always still discovering. And at the time of writing this novel specifically, not tied into the novel at all, I was becoming a mom for the first time. And so I had just, I mean, my son was five months old when I dove into writing this book. So he was itty bitty at home and I was balancing a whole new um, way of life and being that I hadn't, um, you know, ha I didn't have any experience with. And I was questioning all of these ideas about, well, the world says I should be this way as a mom. And, you know, the Christian culture says this and, you know, non-Christian culture says this. And everybody has different ideas and everybody's 
an expert because they are in a sense because every mom's just doing their best and kind of tying some of those same themes in with these girls who were you know kept ending up in situations where the world said you have to be this way or you should react this way based on what's happened to you based on where you come from based on who your family is um, based on your own tragedy and what if we can look at all of that absorb it all and then you know follow an instinct that's different and decide actually know who I really want to be is something other than my past is something bigger than the trouble I've seen um, and that's kind of you know where you get into some of the theology and some of the higher uh, ideas and thinking that these girls go through that I was going through in a very different way but also kind of in the same way because it all really you know we all relate to having the world feel as though it's trying to prescribe us to one idea or, or one kind of identity and maybe feeling inside, wait, there's got to be more to me than just this. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think both of them, both of them reflect me, both of the main girls. Um, and, you know, the FBI agent that they are entangled with, Seeley, who's in the book a lot, and even the villain. I mean, I feel parts of all of them because they're all really looking for, you know, real significance in this book. Right. Well, thank you, Rochelle, for taking the time to tell us about Nine. Looking forward to uh, reading it once it comes out this September and appreciate you um, doing this and, and taking the time to tell us about it. Absolutely. Thanks again so much for having me.